Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Risk of Rain 2 Modded. We're jumping in again and this time we're trying out the Nemesis Commander. We're going to be giving this guy a go and we're going to stick with this. Uh, I do have some other difficulties as well. You can see I have like a lot over here, but I'm just, I, I still like uh, Thunderstorm. I might do a bit of Monsoon later on though, uh, but I like Thunderstorm for now. And yeah, Nemesis Commander, kind of interesting. Um, we have randomized our loadout as well, so we're starting with this blade here. Um, slice enemies in front of us. We've got this firing a piercing sword beam. We've got rolling uh, and gaining temporary armor, quite nice. And then we've also got the de uh, decisive strike for a charge up and then dashing forward to unleash a devastating series of six slashes. Wow, okay. This seems good. This seems good. Let's jump on in. I think as well we could probably mess, mess around with some artifacts at some point too soon as well. If you, if you guys want to... Whoa. Mess around with some artifacts, let me know. Dude, there is some wild stuff going on here. Some of these stages look so crazy. So crazy. Also, I'm going to change a few settings. I'm going to up the audio a little bit, up to like 7%. Maybe 8. 8%. I'm also going to up my sensitivity a little bit as well to like... There you go. That feels better. Cool. Um. So, what we got going on here? So, we've got this... So, we have a pistol in our hand, but we I don't think we have an ability that uses our pistol, which is kind of strange. Um, ooh, that dash is really nice. I like that. I really like that that um, sword slash. Ooh, wow. That's got a radius to it. Wow. That's got a really wide radius to it. But yeah, it's like this mod that changes how stages look might be like the, the best sort of vanilla-esque mod that you can get for a game like this. It adds so much to the game. Also, what's this guy doing here? This guy doesn't normally spawn on this stage, does he? But yeah, we're definitely going to want some movement speed on this guy, I think. We're going to want him moving around quite a lot. Boom. We'll go kill that guy. Where's, okay, we've got a chest up there. Good. But I quite like melee characters, and this guy has, like, some form of bleed. It's not traditional bleed by the looks of it. We've also got a void item down there. Yeah, it's not traditional bleed by the looks of it. Um, it's got like, it's, it's a little bit different. I'm not quite sure what the difference really is. I really like that. Um, I think we'll take repulsion armor. That's really good early on. Um, flat damage reduction. When the enemies are not doing much damage to us, makes a lot of sense. I really like our dash though. Our, our dash ability is very, very nice. Uh, we've got good money at the moment, so we can come around and get all these chests. It looks, it just looks wild. It looks so different. Oh, amazing. I think attack speed would also benefit this guy quite heavily as well. Oh, dude, this, this character's great. I really like this character so far. Having, uh, having some inherent, like, bleed-like abilities right off the bat is very strong. We've also got our teleporter down there. What is it to ping? Okay, there you go. Let's ping. We can ping that and then keep it in mind so we can run around. I don't know how long pings last though to be fair. Right, let's grab that. Good, good. and then what's what we got going on here? Corrupts all shipping request forms. Uh, receive a special dangerous delivery with powerful rewards. Ah, okay. Nice. Yeah, I reckon if we can get some normal like tri-tip daggers on this as well, that'd really go a long way. Oh no, you hit me. What will I ever do? We are. Oh, I'd also like to get um, some backup magazines as well. I think could be quite good. What are you doing, sir? You can stack that bleed pretty high, though. We got up to four stacks on that guy then. Not much up here. We are. And yeah, having that range slice attack is something that not a lot of melee characters get, and I really, really like it when they do it. Alright, we've got equipment here. Very nice. And we get ourselves Jade Elephant with our roll, providing us with uh, armor as well is quite nice. I think it gives us 500 armor with Jade Elephant. So that, 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 that's a pretty good combo. Being able to get quite a lot of armor. Sight decrease secondary skill cooldown. That's really nice. Being able to fire off those more often is going to be useful. Ooh, wow. Gain a rechargeable shield. Double your total shield. Shield recharge sooner. Okay, nice. That's a legendary item there. So basically, although at the minute it's not giving us all that much shield, we're going to be wanting to look out for shield items, shield giving items, which I think mods do add a good amount of. Um, so one, two, one, two, three, 
four, five. Okay, five seconds it takes to recharge our shields. I think it's normally ten seconds. I'm not entirely sure, actually. It might be 7.5, but it's definitely reducing it a bit. Good. Let's uh, pop this a few times. Fortunately, not much out of that. We've got a chest over here that I didn't see as well. Ooh. Get a bit of bleed on you. Hey, Slug is actually pretty good as well. Lots of out of danger stuff is quite nice. And then pop that again. Oh, we've got a lot of healing here. Got a lot of healing. I think we're pretty much ready to go. I'm going to check up, up around this first. I think, oh my lord. With the uh, out of speed uh, combat from the whip, we can get some distance on our roll there. It's quite nice. I don't see much else. I don't see much else. I've got another equipment here. Is that is that another equipment? Yes, it is. We've also got a drone there as well. I, I, do you know what? No, I'm, I'm going to stick with my elephant, I think. The elephant's pretty good. Right, let's crack this. Let's go. I think we should be able to do a lot of damage here. Is that a chest over there that I missed? It is, yeah. We can go get that after. But we can pop that. And we get a good amount of armor for a little bit here. Yeah, our damage is decent. It's not amazing, but we've got a lot of AoE with our bleed abilities and stuff, so... I'm not too displeased. I think it's just our single target's not the best, but our AoE's... Pretty damn good with that R ability. God damn, look at that. It just applies bleed to everything. And I mean, this wasn't a slow kill by any means, really, was it? Let's grab that. Gain the ability to bunny hop, increase air control. This is pretty nice. Basically, we can stack jumps to gain movement speed. It's pretty nice. It's, it's a bit of a weird item, to be honest. But it's good. And then Delicate Watch is perfectly fine. It's not great, but it's perfectly fine. But yeah, if we're going like a straight line... And we want to, like, move around a little bit. Bunny hopping is really nice for that extra speed. Which, honestly, when we're going from chest to chest, is it's going to be a lot of the time. So, I think that works pretty goddamn well for us. I think this is a good selection of items to start us off for this character, to be honest. Especially the whip. Up here straight away. I like the morning on this stage. It's nice. But yeah, basically, we just want to keep hopping over and over to uh, gain that speed. We'll grab that. Why not? Not got much going on down here. We do have a terminal over there, though. Beautiful. Oop, that's a lot of fellas down there. Ah, my god. Um. Okay. Wait a minute. I haven't been down here before. Or in a while. What's down here? I don't remember what's down here. Anything I want? What the hell? Well, I killed that thing, whatever it is. Okay, well that was interesting. <laughs> I don't actually know what that did for us. Uh, that might not be good. Ooh, what's that? Let's go to this terminal first. I think we've just about got enough to buy. Uh, yes, we do. We'll take the random here, I think. Ignite nearby enemies and taking heavy damage. That's pretty decent. I don't, I don't mind the heavy damage ones. They're not ideal, but I don't mind them. Oh, ha, 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 ha. That just is so satisfying, isn't it? Anchor. Increased damage of nearby allies after standing still for one second. Really not ideal, but the um, the reverse form of that, the corrupted version, is very nice. Extra damage while airborne. How did you escape that? Luckily, I got a bit of AoE going on with that, so I don't have to worry. 65. Good, good. Regenerate health on kill. Good stuff. One thing that's kind of weird about Risk of Rain, like as a game to mod, is of course with modding you always want to add more items. That's like always a big thing in modding. But with a game like this, I actually don't know if it's a good idea because you have the... Oh, I broke my dog. I forgot about that. Uh, you have sort of the thing of like, the whole point of this game is to stack items, like get multiple of the same item. But when you're when there's so many items, you can't really do that. I guess the point would be though, you just try to use scrappers more, which I tend to not really use. So maybe I just need to focus a little more on making sure that I actually utilize scrappers when I come across them. Um, fork is good if I remember correctly. Do you, yeah, it is. <laughs> it's just straight up more damage. We like that. That AOE is amazing. A big boy chest here. All shrines can be used one more time. That's very, very nice. 
Imagine getting a few stacks of that. Wow, that could be... Imagine Shrine of the Mountain with a few stacks of that bad boy. That could be ludicrously good. Hey, there's what we're looking for. Some actual bleed. Some that AoE there. The fog's incoming. I'll worry about that for a second. It does this weird glitchy thing sometimes where the fog rolls in and then it disappears, but this time it seems to have stayed in. But this is why I like having the glowing chests and stuff, because otherwise you'd just be lost. The glowing chests is a really nice addition. It's good if we end up getting Weeping Fungus, but otherwise obviously not great for us, especially on a character that we move so much on. This thing, this is what I was looking for. I wonder where this was. What the hell's this? Activate the lost battery. Why not? It seems to be spawning in- oh god damn. Thank god I activated my armor there. I don't know if this guy's gonna kill me or not, I have really no idea how much damage this guy will do this early on, but I can't imagine it's gonna be good. Oh god, yeah. It was, it was, it was bad. Oh shit. Oh shit. No, 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 no. I just realized I'm taking damage. No, he's locked me. He's locked me. He's locked me. Holy shit. I'm going to die. I'm so going to die here. I just realized what's happening there. Okay, it cleared. It cleared. It cleared. He keeps locking me down. Stop. I just realized I was taking damage outside of combat there. Okay, Bustling Fungus actually helped out quite a bit there. Right, good, good. Give me that as well. Oh my god. So is this just going to be a void item choice sort of thing? Let me be really careful this guy doesn't hit me, because he does some good damage, and he locks me down with as well. Which is not good. Where's he gone? What we got here? I don't know what that is. This is the only thing as well about 3D printers. There's so many items that I just don't know what they do in modding. 3D printers become, I wouldn't say useless, but a lot harder to utilize effectively. Right, finally got him. Although, I'm about to die. I'm about to die. Oh, that was very close. That was very, very close. Oh, you're still around as well. Dude, what did I activate here? What did I activate? Right, first of all, I want to actually see what my reward was. I've still not gotten to the reward part of this yet. Please leave me alone. Um, yes, 25% more damage enemies with less than three staff effects, which is most of the time for us, I think. Right, I don't know how much damage you do up close, so I've got to be careful, but I think I can take you on. I try to run away when he dies. In fact, I'm just going to try and stay away from him when I kill him. Yeah. Right. Let's take one of these, see what it is. Okay, that's kind of good. Same with one of these as well. We ought to try things. I need to flat damage on hit. Nice. Okay. Well, this has been wild. <laughs> I can't believe I survived that. Right. There's a teleporter. I've got him stuck. There's a teleporter down there. Got that going on. Lunar item here. See what we get. No, thank you. Oh, we get an extra usage, don't we? I forgot about that. Good stuff. Right, boss time. 5% of damage dealt over time. That's very nice. That's very good healing for us. What boss are we getting? Wayfarer. This guy's a really, really hard boss a lot of the time. He takes a lot of damage. He's, he's, he's like fairly easy to kill, but goddamn, he can do some insane damage. 
but this healing for 5% of my damage over time thing is going to be ludicrously good. I mean, do you see how much I healed there? What about this boss? Oh, there it is. He's just zooming about the place. Like, the more enemies we hit, the more hit, the more healing we're going to get. This is kind of wild. <laughs> this is kind of wild as a healing item. We've set ourselves up for success here, haven't we? Right, and then we get a uh, band. High damage hits also heal you, recharges this over time. Very nice. We got our blue orb as well. We've got a bit of money to carry over so we can get some stuff in the uh, bazaar. No! <laughs> if that's going to fucking kill me. Right, let me just drop down. I don't even know if this puts me back at the top or not. I'm not sure. Dude. Dude, game. Could we not with that, please? There you go. Thank you. My god, I need to stop being a stupid idiot. <laughs> right, let's try and look for some things that give us shield, shall we? That'd be that'd be rather nice to grab. Right, so items here first, what we've got going on. Also, if we ping these, I believe we'll... Uh... No, there you go. Sulfur pools. Scorched acres, okay. Can't remember what this does. Um, but honestly, I really like my green items, so I'm not going to bother to trade. What we got going on here? Ooh, wow. Really? Really? All missile items deal more damage and fire additional two missiles. Well, that's pretty good. Uh, and there's some sort of boot here as well. Reduce fall damage. That's kind of good. Good stuff. Increase one shot protection. That's actually pretty good. Okay, I like that. We'll go to the Scorched Acres as well. Why not? It's kind of crazy that you can get a red item from this. I do think that little shop bit there is a little bit overpowered. I think you should only be able to buy two items rather than, what is it, four? Um, and they should cost, like, double what they normally would cost. Um, but it's still fun to be able to grab more items. I'm not going to complain, even though it makes us a little stronger. I think being able to grab more items just makes your runs more fun. A jade version of Scorched Dirk is nice. 3D printer off the bat here. Don't know what that is. A uh, barrier. Um, nice. It's good. What the hell are you? I do not know. Don't freeze me, please. This guy's kind of taking a beating. But damage over time is is thrashing him right now. Seems to just be like an enemy that can freeze me a lot. But he's giving me a good amount of money to work with. I think scrapper-wise, we can do some good stuff here. Right, scrapper-wise, let's have a look. Um, let's try and take some enemies out first, shall we? It's the only thing like scrappers and stuff. It'd be nice if it paused the game. I realise the whole point is that it doesn't, but it doesn't make things particularly hard. Um, base health regen. We don't really care about that, to be honest. Monster tooth, whatever. I'll get rid of that as well. Get rid of that. Excuse me. Just because I've got so much healing on damage over time, it's like I don't really need healing from other sources. Um, honestly, scrap that as well. Right, now we've got some interesting stuff to use on 3D printers when we find them. Oh, for bloody bunny hopping. I don't know if you saw what happened there, but I tried to jump and the bunny hopping momentum carried me too far. Much further than I anticipated. Is that another scrapper there? A void item over there. Should go get that. Fucking, oh my god. The, honestly, I might have to get rid of the bunny hopping item. It's good, but like, I keep... The momentum it's carrying me with is, is just too much. It's really frustrating sometimes. Just want to go forward normally. It's good if you're going in a straight line, but otherwise it can be a little frustrating. That fuel cell. No? 
Okay, uh... Killing enemies slows and eventually freezes, although... Ooh, nice, okay. I like that. It's a good replacement for gasoline. Okay, um... Can we get across here easily? Yes, we can. Nice. Makes me happy that we've got a good dash. Characters... Oh, we should probably get rid of those as well, the sharp anchors with the scrapper. We don't need those. Heal more, the more damage items you have. Very nice. Boss damage is good. Apple's decent. Coffee bag's good. Right. Let's go. Thank you for that. Can I get up here? No, not quite. I need to go all the way around. That's not where I want to go. Can I do this? Is this an easy way to get up here? Not really. <laughs> God damn it. Let's go all the way around to get that chest. Thank you for the boost. Still need more uh, shield-based items. We don't really have anything going for that yet. That would be rather nice. Take the tie. I don't know what the tie does. Get some shield. Yes. Okay, nice. That's a bit more shield that we were asking for. Thank you, game. Oh, I love that attack. Slightly increased odds is good. Right, let's pop down here and... Um... Oh, wait, this doesn't take me where I thought it would. <laughs> this isn't where I thought this was going to take me at all. Where's this? Have I been up here before? What's all this? Who are you? Gib ukulele to pink guy. I don't have ukulele. Okay, well that's something that I don't understand. I'm guessing it's a modded thing, because I doubt it. it's a gib otherwise. <laughs> I thought it was going to boost me up there. Right, at least we know where our teleporter is now. Right, let's go to the actual place we were trying to go to, shall we? Boom. Get shit on, boy. Right, we got five scraps to work with and find a 3D printer as well. Crit glasses, of course. Dude, our movement speed's great now. Especially after interacting with something. Right, different active item, potentially. Ooh, chance to combine Ignite, Freeze, and Stun. I like that. Um, I don't know what this little poker chip thing is, but I'm intrigued. Um, interrupt an enemy as it readies an attack, freezing it and causing it to take max HP damage. Seems intriguing. Right, can we get any more stuff from over, from over here? We've got another one of these things from what it seems like. We saw before. Seems to just kill everything in an area, it's great. Much else up here. Hey, another band. Good, good. I really like that movement speed we get from opening stuff. That's very good. There was a, I, I swear I saw a try shop over here somewhere. Maybe not. Right, let's take on this again. Should be careful, we've got to stand really close. We've got to stay in this circle and complete the percentage thing here. These guys are a bit of a pain. Oh, 
Oh, dude, we are taking some fat damage right now. So, okay, just apply more damage over time effects and we'll be fine. Yeah, you, you jump off, sir. That'd be, that'd be grand if you'd just fly off the edge. I'm liking the freezing, though. The freezing's very nice. Just remember to get the hell away from this guy when he dies. There you go. That makes things easier. Prevent 10 debuffs before breaking. Uh, whenever you hit an enemy, mirror one of the damage of... Oh, yes. Chance to spread dots on hit. I like that. <laughs> that seems very useful. Right. I think at this point, we're about ready to go. So let's, let's go. I like the idea to spread our dots. Now this guy might do a number on us, but I think as long as we can apply some damage over time effects to various enemies, we should be okay. Unfortunately, as I say that, I'm about to die. Okay. We can heal up quite quickly, but this guy is still a bit of a nuisance for us. Oh, dude, he's just... the fucking bleed is mental. But, at the same time, we can apply so many damage over time effects. We just can't be under him when he does that little stumpy, stumpy ground attack. The bleed just fucking wrecks us. That attack there, god damn it. The only thing is about our, our ability is it's good to have all the dots on enemies, but we're actually killing the enemies and removing all the dots because they're dead. It's not ideal. Also, these guys are really annoying too. Being melee against this dude is, is not good. Hey, we froze him and it did a ton of damage. Can I reduce this teleporter charge time? I mean, unfortunately that does literally nothing for us. Because we've got a mod that removes tele teleporter charging. That's that normally I'd really like that, but... For us it's a little useless. Right, okay. This guy's been pretty good, though. I'm guessing one of his other abilities has the gun. Because otherwise, I don't know why he has a gun. Oh, we got a big drone over here. We'll come back for those chance shrines, I think. we got two big drones. Oh, hello. That freezing's very nice. you got to do it at just the right time. It's our, it's our uh, equipment that's doing that, by the way, if you're wondering. If you press Q on them with your equipment at just the right time, it does some crazy shit. I see you, invisible boy. We've got two bosses here. I'm trying to take them out for just the extra money. This guy will instantly die if we freeze him as well. See, look, there's a circle and you press Q and there you go, then it freezes. Charge is pretty quick. We've got a legendary chest down here. Which costs us four grand. Okay. We're going to be saving for a little bit to get that. Holy shit. We took a lot of damage there. There you go. Get some get some damage on those guys and they die pretty quick. But It's all about timing with that. I like that though. I like a, an ability that... Has some timing associated with it. There you go. Got him. Froze him and insta-killed him. Get out of here, you lamp. Not quite four grand. We have to save up quite a bit to get that, I think. Uh, but we'll go, we'll go and kill this guy up here, if we can. I see you, buddy. I see you.
I need some crit. I've got a bit, but I need. I, I want more. Right, so I think with this, I think with this big fella, it's all about getting the timing right on our Q ability. If we can get the timing right on our Q ability, we can do some really, really good damage to him. Basically, to get him down to about thirty percent health and then pop it. Not quite right, not quite. There you go, did it. There, you see that? Insta-kill. 2,600 we got right now. Hello, big boy. Oh, I'll open that up, though. I'll open that up. It's a big chest. Faster you move, the more damage you deal. That's potentially pretty good. What the fuck's that thing over there? Is that, is that part of the stage? Another big chest over there. I know I'm trying to save up, but big chests are big chests. I can get legendary from this for a lot less. That's pretty good. Hopefully we can garner some money up here. The attack speed's definitely quite necessary here. Because our attack speed isn't great. And it makes a big difference. I see some purple damage numbers over there. I want to go see what's going on. Yeah, I thought this would be a void enemy. Don't know where you're coming from, but we'll take you out. Ah, oh, it's because it's one of these here. Okay. Those things I'm really not sure if I want to do, to be honest. They're very risky. They're really cool, though. I think they're modded. I'm pretty sure they're from a mod. Right. So, 3,000 now. We've got to get another... I can hear something big moving around. I'm honestly not quite sure what it is. Whereabouts is it? Is it down there? Oh, it's one of these snake boys. Just chilling over here. They do normally die pretty quick. But they're kind of tricky. I'm hoping this guy will give me a ton of money, but I don't know if he will. Yeah, he did actually. That was quite a lot. Right. Where the hell are the rest of these enemies? I'm gonna go back up there again. Still got quite a lot of chests around as well in this area. Quite a lot to purchase. Ah, oh, here they are, here they are. I knew these guys were somewhere around. There you go. Got an unlock for Nemesis. Right, we've almost got enough. I think it was 4,300 and something, wasn't it? Let's go have a look. See what's what. Yeah. Boom, bow. Your broken consumed scrapped items increase all your stats. Oh, that's, that's, I mean, we've got some scrapped items right now, so that's good. So we kind of want to be scrapping a bunch of items to gain bonus stats, to be honest. We've got tons of stuff we're not really using. Right, we've got plenty of chests about that we need to still work on. Yep, yeah, I'm taking it. That's very risky, but doubling our damage seems very useful. You watch me die, like, instantly now. I say that, I actually might. What the fuck's this thing? Oh, it's just an invisible one of these, I see. I need more shield is what I need. With that legendary, I think shield is going to be very useful for us. Right. Got plenty of money now. Let's go. Let's go shopping. That's pretty good. I like that. Some chests over there. Let's go find those. Med kit's good. 
double damage is very, very nice. There's a try shop over there we should go try and find. I think movement speed increases our, like, how far we go and we use that. Shurikens is pretty good. I don't know what that is, though. I'm going to take that because it looks defensive. Prevents barrier decay. Yeah, that's very nice. Not that we have a lot of barrier right now, but for later on it might be good. Right, we'll take the, uh, the shop here. Can you fuck off? Oh my god, I'm having such a hard time getting up here. There you go. We did it, we did it. Right, do anyone remember where my teleporter actually is? Because I really don't. <laughs> I really don't remember where the teleporter is. Oh, it's there. I see it. I see it. Right, let's try and live here if we can. Grove Tender. I never remember how difficult the Grove Tender is. There's the two of them. Yes, there is. Yes, there is. That one's dead. Oh, put it. Bugger, 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 bugger. Freeze him. I don't think I'm gonna be able to kill him in time though. Nah. I was hoping to kill him before I unfroze him, but. Oh, what? No! I got absolutely slapped there. That was pretty fun though. That was pretty fun. Shape class might not have been the best idea to take, but it was fun nonetheless. I hope you guys did enjoy this one. Uh, interesting look at a pretty cool character. And yeah, see you guys in the next one.